Hi guys and welcome back. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make these vegan brownies. Let's begin. So to start on the recipe, you'll want to grab yourself a small bowl and into the bowl place your flax seeds and your water and mix them together until they are fully combined. Then set aside until you need it later on. You can then go ahead and grab yourself a large mixing bowl and into the mixing bowl place your vegan butter alternative and melt that in the microwave. Once that has been melted, you can then go ahead and add in your cocoa powder and just whisk it in until it's fully incorporated. This doesn't take very long and at the start it won't look like chocolate mixture but don't worry, as it incorporates, it will. Then go ahead and add in your sugar. Don't worry if the mixture is still warm, this is fine. You'll just want to whisk that in until it's fully incorporated. Go ahead and give the bowl a good scraping down just to incorporate any bits that may not have been fully worked in from earlier on. You will then want to go ahead and add in your flax egg and just whisk that in until it's fully incorporated. Once you add the egg alternative in, it may look very liquidy but don't worry, it's completely fine at this stage. Once you add the dry ingredients in, it thickens up and looks fine. Don't forget to add your vanilla and whisk until it's fully incorporated. You can then go ahead and add in your dry ingredients, but first pass them through a sieve as you want to remove any lumps that may be in the dry mix. And if you don't pass it through a sieve, you'll just have lumps of flour there. You'll also want to add in your chocolate. I'm using 100% cacao chocolate or unsweetened, which is perfect for this recipe. Just fold everything in until it's fully incorporated. You can then go ahead and grab yourself a 9 by 13 inch cake tin or tray and line it with a piece of parchment paper that fits. Then just pour your brownie batter directly into it and level it out as needed. Leveling out the batter will just ensure that it bakes evenly. All the baking times and temperatures that you will need will be left in the blog post which will be linked down below so don't forget to check that out if you're interested in making this recipe. So here are what the brownies look like once they're fully baked and cooled. As you can tell, it's a couple of hours later and I've placed these into the fridge for a bit. Then you can cut them up into however you'd like. I cut mine into squares but feel free to cut them into more of a rectangle or bigger, smaller portions. It really all depends and varies for you. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more from me and I'll be back again next week with some more recipes for you so join me then. In the meanwhile, don't forget to check out the description, there'll be links to this recipe, links to my blog and links to all my social media, so don't forget to check them out. But that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed, bye guys.